Fintech Nation, it is day seven of the challenge. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, the bands are in. You can come by tomorrow morning between 8 and 10 a.m. I will have them available. If you can't make that time, let me know. Um, there is a message uh, in Slack. I put it in there earlier today, um, just sort of reminding you of the same thing, okay? Between 8 to uh, between eight and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, I'll be at the gym. The door will be open, so just come on in and just pick up your band, okay? All right, one-tenth through the challenge. I'm telling you, this challenge goes by fast. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about calories here. Specifically today, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, protein calories. And of course, I know a lot of you said, why so much food, you give me so much food, and in reality, you're not, I'm not giving you a lot of food, and if I gave you, you know, I mentioned this yesterday, if I gave you like, you know, if 80% of your calories are coming from fat and carbohydrates, you probably wouldn't really be complaining to me. It's the amount of protein that you have to eat, okay? So why so much protein? Um, so let's talk about how protein uh, affects your calorie uh, input, and calorie output for that matter, okay? so. Protein has a thermic effect, okay? So all foods have a thermic effect, um, which basically means uh, it takes a certain amount of energy to digest those foods, okay? So on average, about 30% of the energy in protein goes towards digesting protein, 30%. So if you're eating a thousand calories worth of protein, which is about what I eat, actually I eat a little bit more than that per day, you know, but let's just say it's a thousand, uh, 300 of those calories are going towards burning, or sorry, not burning, towards digesting that protein, okay? If you're looking at carbohydrates, uh, it's it's uh, on the order of six to eight percent, and if you're looking at fat, it's about two to three percent, okay? So you can see that protein has much more leverage when it comes to, um, you know, reducing your overall calories that you, that you actually, you know, hold at the end of, of eating it, right? because there's such a large amount of it that goes towards digesting it. So this is why when people say, you may have heard this, uh, people will say, listen, you know, you wanna lose weight, just keep your calories the same, but increase your protein intake. All right, so I'll say that again. You'll, you know, this is, this is actually one piece of advice I used to give my clients, you know, back in the day. And it's still not a bad piece of advice, but I tell people, keep your calories the same as what you would normally have and just increase your protein. Because that right there will reduce your overall calories for the day, right? Just because, you know, your body's going to burn more of those calories. So that's just one reason. I know I've mentioned other reasons why protein is so important during this, okay? And again, it's the amount of protein. Here's the irony. The protein is the most satiating nutrient that you're going to eat. It's going to be the most filling. It's going to feel like it's the most arduous, you know, the hardest thing to eat. The thing that fills you up the most. But the reality is it's actually the one that's, that's giving you the least amount of calories. Um, you know, per per unit of food because or per per amount, right? Because it's got that high thermic effect. Okay, all right. So that's all I'm going to say on that today. I still got a lot more to talk on this, but I've got questions to answer. So let's get into it. Somebody asked me about supplements. What kind of supplements? The question is, what kind of supplements should I take? Well, this is a big question, and there's so many great supplements out there. You know, are you talking about supplementation for your eyes? Are you talking about supplementation for your immune system? Are you talking about supplementation for muscle gain? Are you talking about supplementation for brain function? There are so many things that you can take. So, um, you know, you can be more specific with me. I, I, I'm probably thinking maybe you're talking perhaps about immune system or maybe you're talking about uh, ergogenic aids, so things that are gonna help you, you know, uh, with performance, uh, physical performance, or perhaps, um, you know, recovery. So let's talk about that. Uh, or maybe even with diet, okay? So let's actually start with that one. So a whey protein powder, uh, it doesn't have to be whey. It can be any form of, of, of a protein, like it could be pea, uh, pea protein. It could be, um, you know, uh, uh, casein. Uh, it could be milk. It could be, um, you know, soy. Actually, soy is really, I don't recommend soy. Um, but there's a lot out there, right? Um, so. The one I highly recommend is whey. Doesn't agree with everybody though. So, um, and if you're looking for a brand, I highly recommend Quattro, okay? I carry it, I sell it. Um, it's pharmaceutical grade, and I'll get into what that means uh, in, a, in a future video. But that would be a really good supplement you could take, which would help to elevate your protein intake. And, and by drinking your protein, at least a part of it, that will make it much, much easier, okay? 
So um, I do two smoothies a day, uh, one because I love them and two, it just gives me some variety and it gives me some sweetness in my diet. So uh, a good whey protein powder will help you immensely, all right? Now, if you're talking more for ergogenic, so let's say something's gonna help you with recovery, strength, power output, uh, nothing really beats creatine monohydrate. You know, I know it's been around forever, you hear about it all the time, but really it is a great supplement. It's also a great uh, booster for the brain. So, um, yeah, I, I pretty much use creatine and I rarely, uh, so I shouldn't say I rarely stop it, but I will usually use it for about four or five months straight and then, uh, you know, I'll stop it for a little while and, and then use it again. But there doesn't seem to be any toxicity with it. Um, doesn't really seem to be any issue with it. It is one of the most studied, uh, it might be the most studied ergogenic aid out, out there. So many studies done on creatine. Um, so, and uh, the, the safety of it is very high, all right? So totally safe supplement to take. If it comes to your immune system, um, glutamine, I sell that as well. Glutamine is like one of the un underlying components, uh, arguably one of the, the most important components for white uh, blood cell production. So you definitely should be taking glutamine during this time. Um, I'm also gonna highly recommend uh, vitamin um, C, D, and E, in particular C and D, okay? Um, and zinc during this time as well. All right, so those are some, some, some supplements you can take for immunity. I also take turmeric um, and um, cinnamon is supposed to be good. And there's, there's a host of other things you can take as well. So, but I would, I would really, really, especially vitamin D and C, really, really encourage those. Okay, and, and zinc, zinc specifically for coronavirus apparently. All right, um, I feel like I wanted to say something else, but I don't think so. So let's get to message of the day. And uh, this really comes from uh, a conversation I had this morning with somebody. And um, so the message of the day is this, don't leave any holes, all right? Don't leave any, try to rid uh, the uncertainties that you have throughout this challenge. So for example, I was talking to somebody this morning and they were eating certain foods that came from, you know, they're what I call convenience foods. Well, maybe that's a bit harsh, um, but they're foods that, uh, in this case, it was Subway, okay? So, you know, kind of a convenience food, but I don't trust the uh, nutritional information when it comes to their bread and stuff like that. So. Um, maybe it is accurate, but you know, I, I, I tend to think that it's, it's not. So my, you know, my suggestion here is to try to go with everything that you're eating, try to create yourself. All right. So I was asked this morning, you know, is a hamburger okay? Yeah. Hamburger is totally fine. Just make it yourself. Don't go out and eat it. Okay. Um, I just, I'm not, you know, fully confident in the macros that are given out in, you know, these different fast foods that are out there, okay? So that's just one example of, you know, minimizing uncertainties in the challenge, right? Because if you have enough uncertainties, enough things that you're not really sure of, they will add up, okay? And that can create quite a discrepancy at the end of the week, and that can affect your goals, okay? Or the or your, you know, your progress towards that goal for the week, okay? All right, so that's all I'm gonna say on that. Submit, commit, positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself and give some gratitude, especially during this time. And hopefully, I think maybe we might open up some, I'll start the rumor right now, some small group classes in the next week or two. We will see. Uh, Martina and I are gonna discuss it, but we, we will see. At least maybe start a few every day. So I will let you guys know and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Tomorrow between 8 and 10 a.m. I've got bands for you, so please come on by. Uh, just pull on the door. It'll be open and uh, pick up your bands. All right, I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.